I had a plan to break baseball. And spoiler alert, I succeeded. The bunt. Perhaps the most boring move in all of baseball. Bunts are used almost exclusively by bad hitters as a sacrifice move to get a man that's already on base to advance, putting him in scoring position while getting yourself thrown out in the process. But sometimes, if they lay the perfect bunt, the hitter can safely reach first base as well. And that gave me an idea. You see, bunts are slow. And that's where the game-breaking potential comes from. If I can get two batters to reach first on a bunt in one inning, I've essentially guaranteed a run. And here's how. Step one, get a man on base. This could be from a regular hit or a walk, but in this video, I'm only bunting. Once he's there, we have a man on first with no outs. Step two, as soon as the pitcher begins his throwing motion for the next batter, start to steal second base. Step three, lay down another bunt. The runner on first will safely reach second, and the bunter will either safely reach first, which is ideal, or get thrown out, leaving a man on second with one out. Step four, repeat until you score. The ultimate goal is to have a man on third with only one out, and then you have a squeeze play. You start to steal home, then bunt down the first base line, and voila, you just scored a run. Now, reaching base on a bunt twice in one inning sounds pretty unlikely, but here's why it isn't. Errors. Bunting puts the ball into play, and when you put the ball into play, the opposing team has to make a play, but shit happens. They fail to field it correctly, they have an errant throw, etc. I don't care how I reach first, I just need it to happen. So, we've got our plan, now let's put it to the test. To increase my chances of reaching first on a bunt, I need fast runners. But baseball isn't one-sided, so I need great defense and great pitching to hold the other team to as few runs as possible. The Diamondbacks apparently have the best speed in the game, but they're 21st in pitching and 8th in defense. We can do better. The Guardians. Second in speed, second in defense, fifth in pitching. This is the team that's gonna break baseball. Up first is Steven Kwan, and I pop a bunt past the pitcher. The first baseman has to come out to field it, while the pitcher scrambles to cover first, and he's not in time. Safe at first. Step one of the plan is done. As the next pitch comes in, I start to steal second, and lay down an absolutely perfect bunt down the third baseline. The third baseman has to barehand it to try and make a play, and the tough throw draws the first baseman off the bag. Exactly what I was talking about. When you put the ball in play, no outs are guaranteed. Two up, two on, no outs. We're looking at at least one run here. Let's take another look at that bunt. I mean, this is just textbook. Straight down the line, soft as a baby bunny. This guy is a bunting savant. Fucking goodwill bunting over here. Third batter, I send both runners to steal. We get gunned out at first by the pitcher, but that's fine. Runner on third with one out. The squeeze is on. Next batter, we send the runners to steal and bunt towards first. Almost identical to the first play of the game, the pitcher can't cover in time. We score a run and reach first. Now we've got a runner on third again with only one out. Another squeeze play. This time we're easily thrown out at first, but we score our second run of the inning. Finally, our next batter is thrown out, and we change sides. Now the White Sox are still playing the outdated version of baseball that your great-grandpa loves, so we easily sat down the side after facing only four batters, and got back to showing them what the future looks like. A little drag bunt, down the line, pitcher has to cover first, and guess what? We beat the throw. Next bunt, we get tagged on the way to first, but we safely reach second with one out again. The next batter, it seems like they have some sort of deep infield shift on, so we just bunt deep, into the shift, and beat the throw. Man on third, one out. I mean, I, I think you guys know where this is going. The squeeze is on again, bunt it down the right side, runner scores, and we beat the throw again. Now this next bunt is absolutely surgical. Look at this. We've got the fucking crocodile bunter out here, and we just barely beat the throw. The bases are loaded, one out. Feels like a great time to bunt. Jose Ramirez is up, and the squeeze is on. Let's get this guy home. Well, no plan is perfect. If you miss the bunt, and you've already sent your runners, you're gonna look like an idiot. But I'm an idiot who's up three to nothing with runners on second and third, so who cares? Runners at the corners, we send them, and guess what? Another fielding error. Their team is falling apart. We have completely blindsided them with a baseball revolution, and they have no idea what to do about it. They call for a pitching change. It's only the second inning and the pitcher has only thrown 18 pitches. 
At this rate, they're going to have to put their manager on the mound by the seventh inning. But their next pitcher puts us away, and then they get the opportunity to play some offense. Unfortunately for us, they take advantage of that opportunity. That was an absolute bomb. Luckily, we've built up a decent cushion, so I'm not too worried. This is why I chose the Guardians. We've got good defense and good pitching. So over the course of nine innings, we will be fine. Let's just get this next guy out. Are you f***ing kidding me, Shane? That was supposed to be low and away, and you just float that f***ing meatball down the middle? Jesus, f***. 450 feet? You're f***ing killing me, dude. So we got out of the second inning with no problems at all. They got a couple of runs, but we're not worried about that. We had an uneventful third and fourth innings from both sides, and no runs were scored. But in the fifth, we got back on track. Another fielding error, this time from the pitcher, and we get on and score a run. We ended up loading the bases after that, but couldn't get anybody home. After five innings, we have six runs and 15 hits. I think it's safe to say the plan is working well. In the sixth, we had a few more successful bunts and have runners in scoring position with one out again. The sacrifice RBI, and that would end up being the last one of the game. We finished the game with an astounding 18 hits. That means 18 successful bunt attempts and seven runs. Balls were bunted and baseball was broken. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'm going to go try this strategy online now. I'm sure it'll result in me making lots and lots of friends.